back to my channel if you are just joining me for the first time you are most welcome this is all about being informed inspired and motivated if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe hit that bell of notification that way you're gonna be notified whenever I upload new video this is all about being informed inspired and motivated simply by Boino my name is Boino and you are watching my channel return your viewers my subscribers and you that just stop by I just want to say thank you you are most welcome today I'm gonna talk about farming in Liberia Liberia is on the west coast of Africa it's in Africa okay so we are still on Liberia Liberia I'm gonna talk about some of the challenges and the farming system in Liberia and how is it impacting the lives of those and the economy in Liberia my topic is always brief and short to the point guys so stay tuned as I go through my topic thank you Liberia as a whole is not a big country it's surrounded by Guinea, Sierra Leone, Africa, and on the south is the Atlantic Ocean. Liberia is just from civil war, and they have had war for so many years. And due to this civil war, they have had impact on the country, economy, and also the farming system in the country. And so with this, farming before or back then used to be one of the most important i would say one of the major uh source of economy improvement in liberia growth but since the war farming at the agriculture system i would say it has decreased or is trying to grow up to be where they were or to even be more than where they were before because of the war condition mostly in Liberia the farming that they do is called subsistence farming and that is a farming system that caters to the farm farmers needs that is the farmer have to farm and have enough for himself to eat so if that is the system that is in Liberia the subsistence farming then how can that farmer be able to produce more and more food for uh, others consumption or production like like to have more production for consumption for public consumption since there is subsistence farming that is being done in Liberia but we are going to see why is it that there is that the farming system in Liberia is subsistence farming and for the subsistence farming the farmers produce food that is enough for their consumption and so if there is no more if there is not enough food for public consumption if it's only for that farmer consumption then the agriculture growth is so low there is no growth in the agriculture system and most of the farmers in Liberia they are trapped in the subsistence farming they cannot move forward they only farm for they and their family because they have not been a target to say for the for the country or for the agricultural system to release them from that trap of being a subsistence farmer because our, our mechanism have not been put in place or designed that farmers will go beyond the subsistence farming to be able to provide for public consumption no that is why we have to get food outside of the country that will come into the country and the price will even be more but if we were growing our own crops would not be importing things that we can grow into the country that is we can grow it ourselves and the price will be okay for us the price will not be more exorbitant as if we were producing that same food in our country according to a study that was done by UNDP the farmers they have extremely limited access to obtaining financial loan because of the interest they, they, they mostly they are not they, they, they are not qualified or they are not being given the loan to to help improve their farming system to take them from that subsistence way of farming 
So it's very difficult for our farmers to grow beyond that system of being a subsistence farmer. Loans are not given to farmers. There are no agricultural loans for those that are in the, the for those farmers to be able to develop, to be able to have the, the mechanism and the techniques and the machinery that they need to move them beyond the subsistence farming. And these banks or those that give out loan, they are charging more beyond the interest that those farmers can afford. So they can get a loan for them to improve on their farming system. The stable food in Liberia is rice. Yet and still, we cannot produce, the farmers cannot produce rice for public consumption. So rice are being imported into the country. And when rice are imported in the country, the prices are so high. But if Liberians, the farmers were producing rice that could cover up all of the country, have enough for public consumption, there won't be any import of rice. And rice is the stable food. But yet and still there are other varieties because there are other businesses and other importers of rice that come into the country that increase the, the prices of this stable food. And this is Liberia stable food is needed so they have to Im they have to import it from other countries since farmers cannot be able to produce rice for public consumption. In Liberia, they also have rubber, which is a cash crop. Rubber alone, it brings a lot of money into the country. We have coffee, we have cocoa, and we also have palm oil. These are things that Liberia export and it boosts up the economy system. But they are not, to that extent, these things are run by company. They are not in charge, they are not in the care of farmers, local farmers. They are companies that held this rubber uh, plantation cocoa, coffee plantation, and this palm oil industry. So they are run, and so they are produced even beyond the subsistence weight of farming that the country have more that they are even able to supply to other country. Liberia has a larger forest. And with this larger forest, if the farmers can be able to be put in a position that they will be released from that being trapped in subsistence farming. There's a lot of land, there's a lot of rainforest, there's a lot of big space that they can use and expand to, to grow more crops. We don't have to be importing crops that we can grow from our country, Liberia. Even with the subsistence farming, there is still challenges. With these farmers trying their best, there is still challenges. There are pests that come and eat up their crops. There are not modern technologies, modern machinery that they use to harvest their crops. Fertilizer are not being utilized the right way. And also road condition. The road conditions stop these people from moving from one direction to another with their crops. These are challenges that they, faces, that they face. And with these challenges, if they are put in a better position, they can be able to move forward and, and all of these challenges, it can be handled. That they will be able to move beyond even in that subsistence farming that have challenges. They don't do modern day cultivation and there is not enough equipment. Even the equipment they have, it is not enough. It's not something that they can use to, to, to improve their farming. Therefore, due to poor network and poor transport system, these people, these farmers are not able to move beyond the subsistence farming. They are there. That's why we say they are trapped in subsistence farming because there are things that are holding these people back that they cannot move beyond that way of farming agricultural growth has the potential to reduce poverty in the rural area 
agriculture girl has the potential to make people in the rural area to be literate. Agriculture growth has the potency to make people to, to have an improved lives. Agriculture growth has the potential to do a lot of things. Therefore, if these farmers are being given loans or being put in a position, given that, that mechanism that they need to take them from this subsistence, subsistence farming, lives will be changed in the rural area. There will be lots and lots of development in the rural area. And so communities, society will begin to develop. So it's not only in the work color, with the work color job or working in the office, it's the only thing that improves people's lives. Farming also improves lives. Once you have you have all of the equipment now we are in modern days you need modern facility everything to equip you and then you get on your farm because of not having all of these things all these people run into the city to leave them and say there is no job there is no job because they don't have the the, the thing that they need they don't have money they don't have equipment they don't have they, they are not they are not knowledgeable they are not they are not being uh, train in the modern day farming also. So they run to the city. Now everybody is full in the city. There is no job. Everybody crying on the government. But with the, the with better improvement on the agriculture and the farming system in Liberia, Liberia then can be transformed and removed from that level of being a subsistence farmer or of being a country that is depending or that is trapped, a country that has a farmers that is trapped in subsistence farming, then growth can come. It's another part and another way of growth coming into the society and the country. So my beautiful people, I hope I make sense today, guys. This is all I have for you today. If you are just joining me, please don't just pass by. Please subscribe and always watch my video to the end. Thank you, my viewers, for viewing me. You are free to leave me your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about my topic today. Have a good day. I love you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.